Well, lots to talk about. Giant blizzard last week. Huge, huge blizzard last week. And uh, just amazing. And it, it disrupted all parts of, uh, of, of life on the East Coast. It really did. All, every, every sort of form and nature of life was disrupted by the blizzard. Uh, the schools were canceled and everything. And one of the biggest things, uh, SATs were canceled last week. And uh, yeah, and I got to tell you something that's depressing for you nerds out there. <laughs> Kids were actually going, oh, I missed out. <laughs> My precious SATs were denied me. Ridiculous. No, you high school students, you caught a break because the SATs were, were, were canceled and uh, they've been moved uh, a couple of weeks away. And um, this gives you guys extra study time. So I thought, uh, since we're primarily an educational show now, we, <laughs> comedy, we stopped in about 1998. Uh, I thought we would help out by uh, doing some practice SAT analogies right now. That's a big part of the SATs. These are interesting, uh, they're informative, and even if you're not taking the SATs, you can do these. It's just fun. For example, you know how these work? Dog is to puppy as cat is to... Yeah, very good, all right, good. I've got your attention now. Uh, <laughs> We'll try one. For example, uh, Howard Dean yesterday is to gain a percentile as Joe Lieberman yesterday is to, that's right, betrayed by a Gentile. You see how it works? There's a setup. And then he tries. That's how it works. Yeah. These are very good. You, you can learn from these. For example, new show with Meryl Streep and Al Pacino is to Angels in America as new show with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie is to, that's right, Skanks in Arkansas, you see? Uh, Ruben Stuttered is to, waiting for album to drop, as Clay Aiken is to, that's right, waiting for testes to drop. Where's that menorah? Is it anywhere around? <laughs> oh. All right. No music that time. Someone's getting fired in the booth. Uh, yeah, oh, great. Oh, that was great. There's a guy in the music booth right now like this. Huh? I run a tight ship. I don't screw around. Can I get you a pillow or anything? You all right? <laughs> uh, close your legs, would you? It's like this. Where were we? Oh, yeah, SAT analogies. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne is to nearly killed himself operating an all-terrain vehicle, as Jessica Simpson is to, that's right, nearly killed herself operating a shoe. You better be ready, because I could ask for it at any time, dude. All right. He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tiger Woods is to stands up to tea, as Conan O'Brien is to, that's right, sits down to pee. And I... <laughs> My tears make me strong. Uh... Such an ass. It's all coming apart. <laughs> Bullish is to optimistic about the stock market, as bearish is to, that's right, James Gandolfini in a steam room. <laughs> People so fear a mob hit that no one will laugh at that. You're doing it with one hand now? <laughs> Let me get that. Oh. There you go. Um. <laughs> Nat King Cole's Christmas song is to chestnuts roasting on an open fire, as NBC's Christmas Fear Factor is to, that's right, goat nuts rolling in a white trash mouth. <laughs>
President Bush is to got drugs for seniors as Rush Limbaugh is to, that's right, bought drugs from sophomores. So, is a... Ruben Studdard's left brain is to, I hope my latest album goes platinum, as Ruben Studdard's right brain is to, that's right, I could swallow a pig if you sanded its hooves. <laughs> Someone start my car. <laughs> Keep the engine running. <laughs> and finally, this crowd's getting mad. Now hold on! I'll sit here for a lot, but when you go after Reuben, that's going too far. And finally, popular toy is to tickle me Elmo, as unpopular toy is to... That's right, fondle me Jacko. It just isn't. <laughs>